Ever since I started making videos about weirdos and freaks on TikTok, I've been seeing the name Leslie Clark being thrown around quite a few times. And this is something that's been sitting in the back of my head as far as two to three months ago when I first heard of the name. So a few days ago, I decided to finally look into it and look for all the information I could possibly find about this person. And the amount of links I've clicked, the amount of stuff I've seen on Reddit and just online overall, there's a whole dedicated community on Reddit of people who keep track of everything she does. If she has Taco Bell for dinner, they know she did and they know exactly what she got. And it's not to make fun of them, I just think it's really interesting. And let's get the obvious out of the way. Yeah, she looks like Nova online. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this was Nova's mom. But Leslie Clark is a 25 year old woman from Louisiana. She rose to quote unquote fame a few years ago. And by fame, I mean like TikTok fame. And it's not even about her, it's more people laughing at her. She has had multiple, and I mean multiple TikTok accounts. I saw about four different accounts with a pretty decent following that were just about Abandoned. And I believe the reason why there's so many abandoned Leslie accounts, my big theory, my big brain theory is that she just forgets the passwords and makes a new account instead. <laughs> it's just easier to make a new account. God only knows how many more this woman has. And the Leslie Clark situation goes from fairly mild all the way to EDP levels. She was arrested a few years ago and she had a bond set for 7,500 US dollars. The reason why she apparently stole her grandma's car and uh, here's a mugshot in case you don't believe me. <laughs> I mean, it's still a car from anyone is already bad enough but your own grandma is someone who's like 65 70 years old and she can't do a single thing about it that's pretty fucked up in my opinion and on top of that you go to the lowest of the lowest you go after your sweet innocent grandma and even if she's not sweet she's this old hag you want to kill her or whatever you take advantage of someone who's 65 years old 70 years old or older who can run and catch you and on top of that leslie lives with her grandma she's living for free in her grandma's house and the grandma gets this ability not only she living rent free she's also living off her and on top of that decides to steal a car and who do you think has to pay the bond leslie has been caught and admitted to scamming people by pretending she either has a kid she's gonna have a kid for quote unquote baby formula to take advantage of nice people who just want to help because they feel bad for her because of whatever condition she might have one situation that comes to mind immediately is when she was scamming people for baby formula just when you think you couldn't get lower instead of doing what any rational human being would do maybe ask a family member maybe try to get a job who feel bad for you because of the way you look the way you are your situation i don't think i've mentioned this but she's addicted to vaping she was already going to die young as is now imagine with the vaping like that's going to cut like 20 years off her life so what she does with this money is buy vapes <laughs> the person says does she need any other baby stuff leslie replies with no mostly just formula only one can or she said one is okay but if you can do it too it will be a big help let me see what i can do you sure this is your cousin's cash app it says your name oops my bad needed her cash app and it's not like it's some crazy allegation this is real she's admitted to scamming people i want to say thank you because you got a point you really do got a point because it is their own fault it doesn't take a genius to know there's something wrong with Leslie and she's not all there. I think we could all agree that Leslie shouldn't be on the internet if she's going to be posting this type of content, embarrassing herself. And I get the impression that she thinks we're all laughing with her at her jokes, at her dating life. But in reality, we're not really laughing with her. We're pointing the finger and laughing at her for her stupidity, for how dumb this person is, for how ignorant this person is, and on top of that, just for being a very shitty person. The only reason why people follow her in the first place is to see what kind of stupid stuff she's gonna do today. I have no idea why people in her family don't grab her phone and take it away, because I know that if I saw any of my family members that I care about embarrassing themselves, I would go to their house, I would reach out to them, and I would take their phone away to save them from a lifetime of embarrassment. I stumbled upon a phone call that her dad apparently made talking to to another TikToker, it pretty much confirms what everyone already knew. Leslie is uh, is special needs. Okay, thank you for telling and, me. And, and she is not, she's not mentally adult. Okay, okay. She's got the mentality of a fourth uh, fourth grader, pretty much. Thank you for telling me, sir. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, because what she's doing yeah. is really kitty. Because I did nothing. Like, let me tell you, sir. I've been nothing but kind to your daughter, and I. I don't know why out of nowhere she had beef with another friend of hers, Alexis. I don't know if you've heard that name before, but you probably have. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she had beef with this girl, Alexis, and I've been nothing but kind, and I, I have done nothing. And you can even ask her, show her the messages. We just had a conversation because she was beefing with, or she was having an issue with Alexis. And all of a sudden she's saying, oh, go get lynched. My name's Ethan. I was 15, and she sent the nudes to me, and I'm 17 now. <laughs> you were the one? You were the one? Yeah. 
Oh my God. Yeah. I was 15 when she sent the news to me that my sister has the account logged. You were Courtney's brother. Yes, ma'am. My God. Yes, ma'am. My sister has all the login to that account, all the info. Her father even sent his dick to me. Like the whole family's messed up in the head. So, okay. I have a question, Ethan. And Leslie, please, did you know he was 15 when you sent those photos? You know, I did. No, I didn't. Leslie, okay. how old did you think he was? Uh, t- somebody told me he was 18. Why didn't you ask him? Man, I'm going to be straight up with you. I told her how old I was. I said, I'm not allowed to talk to anybody above the age of 17. And that's when she had sent the nudes. Did you and ask for those pictures? No, ma'am, I did not. I showed my sister. Like, right. Now, just for the record, so everyone out here knows, these are just allegations for now. Besides the fact that a grown-ass woman like Leslie was interested in a minor, can we please be honest for a second? Who in this entire planet wants to see Leslie Clark with very limited clothing? I don't even think the most desperate man alive would want to see that. I know that I wouldn't. I'd rather take my eyeballs out than to ever, ever, ever even imagine how Leslie might look. I don't think anyone's dying to see it and as a matter of fact i think she should be more encouraged to wear more clothing <laughs> someone just keep throwing t-shirts at her maybe a hoodie maybe like a thick jacket uh, i think that'll be doing us a really huge favor and on top of that sending nudes to random people not knowing their age you're like hey here's my buzzer you know here's this here's that it's like how about you ask if they actually want it in the first place now whether you believe these allegations or not that's completely up to you but it doesn't look good when you're getting called a pedophile in front of people and in front of a hundred people and all all you do is stand there covering your mouth if i got accused of sending nudes to a 15 year old kid 16 year old kid i would respond immediately i wouldn't be standing there like a loser covering my mouth like a little middle schooler kid i would respond i would defend myself because this would be crazy i mean absolutely crazy allegations this is a second incident how do i say this she uh she dated a minor just to let you know that no this shit <laughs> happened like fucking years ago and everybody fucking knows about this shit and it i doesn't fucking matter pain. Dated a child. I never That's dated a fucking Multiple child. Multiple children. You sent news to one. No, it's not. It was just one. It doesn't oh, matter. It was, it was just one, Leslie. That and doesn't go away. At this point, everybody fucking knows There's about it. Proof. Everybody freaking knows I about it, and it's always fucking news. I fucking came. I haven't done that shit in fucking years. At first, she denied dating a child, but then admits to doing it. At this point, how can we believe this woman? First, she says no. Then the next second, she says, okay, I did it. <laughs> this woman might be the biggest liar on TikTok. And this next clip says everything you need to know about Leslie and what she thinks about dating minors. I have a huge crush on Connor. Um, I'm, but that's a problem. I can't date him because he's too young and shit like that, but... I do care for him. I do love him. He means absolute world to me. You did not mishear anything. She admitted to being in love with a minor. <laughs> Someone, for the love of God, take this woman's phone away. The stuff that is confirmed is that she is in love with the minor. On top of that, it's not the first time she feels like this. She also dated a minor. So do with that information what you will. <laughs> She is one DM away from going to someone's house for some fresh cupcakes. We're dealing with someone who's not okay mentally, someone who clearly has some very, very mental issues, which I don't think it's an excuse. If you're old enough to plan all of this, not once, not twice, we're not even talking about the scamming, the robbery, and all the other stuff she's done. Were you mentally ill when you stole your grandma's car, when you got arrested, when you were dating a minor, when you were in love with minors, when you were scamming multiple people, people who just wanted to do the right thing? Let me know if you guys want me to make more videos like these. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you next time, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Peace.